Here we have an antler flower head decoration with teleplay. And then we can take it out away from this bird and then we can kind of show it what it show what it looks like. Get a better handle here. Okay, I th let me hold on, let me remove that. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so let me show you what I'm doing to create this scene. <laughs> so in this case, I'm using a blue screen because we have green elements in this product right here, which would become invisible if they were with a green screen. Um, or it just wouldn't look that good. So right now we're using a blue screen. If you don't have a blue screen, you can get a blue poster board. And here we're using green cubes, but instead of using the green cubes, I put them, you know, I put a blue painter's tape on them, which works really well. Um, and then it acts as like a little invisibility perch. And then for the actual lighting setup, we got one, two, 100 watt LED daylight bulbs lighting the blue screen. And then we got one, two, three lights lighting the blue, the product with the blue um, cubes with tape below. And then let me show you what I'm, and then uh, it took me about like two minutes to kind of play musical chairs with these three lights. So that way the cubes are completely perfectly invisible. In this scene, let me show you what I mean. Like, like basically like, I'm just like moving this around and then what I, I got a nice kind of configuration of all three lights where the, the blue or the green cubes with the blue tape is completely noticeable. And now let me show you what I'm doing inside the app. I'm going to AI generated backgrounds, photo preview, and then the background I believe I used is called see a table flowers one. And then the foreground, go to animals. And then I used raven perched kind four. And that's it. And then just press the record button and then you're good to go. Let me play with this some more. I don't know. <laughs> I think this looks pretty cool. Um, you know, let's see, you know, you can play around with different foreground effects for this particular scene. Um, you know, let, let me do it while I'm here. So let me remove this bird. Let me see what else we can do. We can do a bird perched, which can kind of work. Maybe put this one bird like right here. Okay, that can work too. Maybe we can do another type of uh, animal. What if we do butterflies? Okay, this can work too. Another thing we can try, go to plants and flowers. Maybe check out this branch gonna put it up top or maybe below there's so much you can there's so many like nature foregrounds within the app um you know just depends on what feeling you're going for uh maybe something in the sparkle and particle category uh i mean let's see what this looks like Okay, that can kind of work. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this foreground. What if we go to nature transitions definitely has something. For example, uh, flowers full sequence can work pretty well here. Uh, this is one of my favorite foreground effects and it's in like all of the advertising videos for teleplay. So definitely there's a bunch of stuff in nature transitions. 
This is just one of them. And then, you know, I can play around with it. Okay. And there's a lot you can play with around with the nature transitions. Um, love, maybe falling rose effects can work well. Okay, that can kind of work too. Put it like right there. I mean, there's so much you can do. I'm just showing like where I would go if I was you for this particular scene. Okay, I mean, that's it for now. I'm here if you ever have any questions.